Hey, Melissa here from Girl Gone Fishing, and today I'm at Strictly Sailing Kayak in Cincinnati, Ohio, and I'm picking up a Demo Hobie Passport. This one is the 12, it's a 12 foot long, 34 inches wide, and 73 pounds naked. I've never tried to put anything heavier than my old 54 pound Old Town on my car, so Brian, uh, Mr. Brian Tacey of Strictly Sailing Kayak promises me that I can get this up on my car, but he might just be doing it because he's the cameraman and this is going to be funny. Of course, he doesn't want me to hurt his boat either. So, uh, all right, let's see if it works. So the only way this is remotely possible is that I have the Yakima, what used to be called the Solo Boat Loader Bar. And what it does is it allows you to put the nose of the boat on the bar and then pivot the back up onto the rack, which means you only have to lift half the weight at one time. So we're gonna be really careful here. Oh, it's a lot heavier than my links. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I guess we got to get this strap down and uh, I'm going to go meet up with John Graves of John Graves Kayak Fishing and we're going to test this out along with one of his kayaks. So far, so good. Woo! All right, we did it. What do you think, Stormy? So ignoring the scupper cart things that are coming up here, those are just in there because it's sitting on the cart right now. The seat is gonna go back here, goes into this little groove, and this handle right here spins around and holds it in. So that's all that anchors it on that side. And then we take these clips and clip them to... Okay, and there's my seat. Lastly, we've got our Mirage Drive. So the standard drive on this one does have the kick-up fins, but it does not have the 180. So this one just goes forward but you can upgrade to a 180 drive, which if this was my kayak, I definitely would. So there you go. I'm gonna go ahead and put my H crate back here in the cargo hold. <laughs> I kind of am uh, holding it in there with bungee cords, but I'm not sure I would leave it like that if I was going out somewhere in like rough conditions, but it'll definitely work for right now. All right, we've got the Hobie off the car and down here on the shores of John's beautiful little pond. And one thing we figured out right away is that my Hobie cart is not perfect for this passport. Um, the, the cart that I use, I thought they were all just standard, like the Hobie plug and play kind of things where you just plug the, the bars up into the scupper holes, but the wheels were rubbing on the hull of the kayak and John and I really had to work to get it to drag up here. So I don't want to damage the kayak, but I, I think there must be something like a different kind of cart that you use for this other than the standard Hobie cart. But other than that, we got it up here and uh, got it all set up. But let's walk through some of the features that I have read about this kayak that make it a really cool entry level fishing kayak. So starting back here in the cargo area, you have a lot of room for whatever you need. Right now I'm using a big part of it for my H crate, my Hobie crate, because this is gonna carry my fish finder battery, my GoPro batteries, and a lot of my soft plastics and tackle boxes. It also has my rod holders, so I can carry as many rods as I want, and I use it as a camera mount for my over the shoulder camera, for my cast to catch footage for my YouTube channel. So. But if I didn't have this here, one of the features they talk about are these ridges. John, if you can get in here and see these ridges, they say that by raising your stuff above the level of the floor, the water will just run down the scupper holes without getting all your stuff wet. But I mean, I don't know about anyone else. I don't bring anything fishing that can't get wet. So 
it doesn't bother me, but hey, cool idea. It's nice that they're thinking about things. And then moving on up here, we've got the paddle holder. It's just a simple thing like that. We've got a gear track on both sides. Um, they have these as little tackle box holders. So there's one on both sides of the kayak. Uh, you could use it for anything else that I just saw in the little Hobie video. They talked about the tackle box holders. And another gear track. So if this was my kayak, I would put on something like the Yak Attack double header ro uh, roto grip paddle holder or the um, Yak Gadget uh, rod stagers, the horizontal rod holders with a paddle holder. I'd want something that got the paddle kind of out away from the kayak just a little bit. And either one of those two would do a really good trick at that. So for now, this is one of the cool things. You have like a waterproof hatch here. So you could use this for your uh, batteries if you wanted for your fish finder. If you had a, a scupper mount, I believe under the seat. Yeah, there's a hole right here that goes down to the, the there's a place for your transducer in this kayak. In the 10.5, 10.5 version of the Passport, there is not a transducer mount uh, built into the kayak. But in the 12 foot version, there is, and that makes a big difference it, when you're an angler and it's easy to just install your transducer for your fish finder have a place waterproof for your batteries easy to wire easy to go so you can throw all your necessities in this little hatch here we got our uh, mirage drive and then again another big tackle storage up here in the front um, this will hold uh, a lot of stuff down here you can have your waterproof bag you can have your extra tackle boxes whatever you need your lunch box so that's pretty much it. I think we covered everything. It looks really nice for coming in under $1,900 and under 74 pounds. It's 73 pounds naked, 83 pounds rigged up, but then of course I put all this other stuff on it. So let's get it out on the water and see how it handles. All right, so let's see what the acceleration's like on this thing. I think I'm ready to try stand it up. And let's see what it does. Not bad. Um, the seat's a little lower than what I'm used to. I'm used to sitting in my links in more of a stadium seat. So it was definitely handy to have the uh, pedals there to pull on to help me get up. And uh, whew, outside of that, so there's definitely some side to side movement that I'm not used to but I think it's because of the hull design. And once it rocks, it's very stable. It's not like it's gonna rock and then go over. It just does this a little bit. <laughs> so once you get used to that little bit of movement, it's super solid. But I can definitely see where getting up from this low position would be like hard for some people. So I would get something like that Rogue Stand Assist Tether. So I could grab the handle here and then stand up. But for right now, I'll just use the pedals. Woo, I did it. <laughs> All right, so just showing how stable this kayak is. I'm up here on the nose of the boat and I'll admit it's not quite as steady as back there, but you could definitely stand up here if you needed to get to something up here, if you needed to fix your lure or like, you know, I picture if you're in Florida and you're on the flats and you're casting out there to a tarpon, just like this, right? All right, now I gotta get back. Woo! Yeah, this part right here, once you compare it to that, this is so solid and so steady. Crane stance. <laughs> Practicing. I used to do this to practice for my one-legged skiing because I'm a ski instructor and we have to do all these tasks. So on my links, I practice doing one-legged standing for balance. You know there's a fish under there, right? 
So overall, this Hobie Mirage Passport is a fantastic kayak for kind of an entry level fishing platform. It comes in at under $1,900. It's only 73 pounds, which to me that seemed like a lot, but I was able to get it up on my car, car top roof rack with no problem. So I would really recommend this as a starting angling boat or if you want, you know, just your everyday boat, but you don't want the weight or all the, you know, massive bells and whistles of something like a pro angler or an outback or even a compass. So all in all, the Hobie Passport 12 is a really good fishing kayak and uh, I might not give it back. <laughs> don't tell Strictly Sailing Kayak. All right, thanks guys. I appreciate you. Thanks to Strictly Sailing Kayak and thanks for watching. See you on the next one. All right, let's go fishing.